The government estimates we spend $30 billion a year and have done for three or four decades in Aboriginal affairs with no change. We don't think that's very, a good outcome. We've had 24 years of close the gap with the gap widening, the intervention, the cash card, the AIS program, which we'd like to have a Royal, a Royal Commission into. We want something that was corrupt. And the walk away from social housing is affecting so many people. Now, does anyone know how, how the government got the $30 billion and what they spent on Aboriginal affairs? It's a whole inquiry. It took two, two and a half years to work it out. Well, they got the budgets of every state government and every territory government and took 3.5% as the bottom figure. So everything, 3.5% to Aboriginal people, so for defence, Prime Minister's salary, everything. And then they said, oh, because you're in jail so much, we'll, we'll triple that, so double all that one. Because you're on the dial, we'll, make four, we'll double that by four, we'll that by four times. So they doubled, increased that. And they said, because a lot of you live in remote areas, that costs a lot of money to give you services, so we'll triple that as well. And then they added in the specific services, and that had the, that's how they got the 30 billion. Not a lot of science to it, I don't think. In terms of the task in front of us, there's been 155 attempts to have a referendum in this country since 1901. The government has deemed on 44 occasions we can have a vote. So they blocked 110 of them. And their local government has been blocked four times, it's just one of them. So of those 44, eight were successful. We hope to be the 45th one to get through the parliament and the ninth one to be successful.